the Missouri National Guard one-on-one. -on -one. Missouri National Guard, always ready, always there. Coming off a 3-0 start, the Missouri Tigers host Arkansas State Saturday at Faroe Field. We hope you'll be there. We're joined right now by head coach Gary Pinkle. And coach, let's wrap up the Indiana game a little bit as you've kind of gotten to look at the tape. A lot of good things to see. What were the things that uh, popped out to you most that impressed you about your 45-28 to win over the Hoosiers? Well, I think, you know, I, one thing I really like about this team, how well they compete and how they battle, you know. And, um, you know, we had a 14 nothing lead, and we're pretty much dominating the game. And, and uh, we had a couple turnovers, and all of a sudden it's 14-14. And uh, we responded really well to that, I thought. And, uh, and I thought we uh, finished for the most part. You know, there's always things to improve on. But uh, it was a good win for our, our football team. I think we're getting better, I think, uh, and that's really important. And the 93rd win of your career here at Missouri that ties you with Dan Devine on the all-time list for number two here at Missouri, and I got to think that's meaningful to you. Yeah, I guess it is. I, don't, I honestly I don't pay much attention to that. I, I you know, I, I got a job to do here. This game's important to me. You know, I have great respect, uh, you know, for Dan Devine, Don Ferro, and all those people who've coached, you know, before me. And uh, you know, to even be thrown up in with their names is certainly an honor. But uh, you know, I got to focus on doing what I'm doing. And that is uh, this week against Arkansas State. Uh, as you dive in and, and look at the areas where you'd like your team to improve uh, week to week, and, and particularly in this game, uh, what are the areas that are popping out to you right now? Well, I think one thing is, you know, you, it's, a, it's a constant never ever improving the fundamentals. And, you know, I always refer to the, or my players, uh, to the NFL players that are, you know, 13 year veterans, and they still work on their fundamentals every single day. So just being here for two or three or four years thinking you do it day after day after day and it gets a little bit not monotonous, the most important thing to learn is that's how you get better, and, and, and you can always refine your fundamentals. And then collectively, as we can do that as an offense and defense, as groups together, working together, is, you know, the great thing about football is 11 people got to do their jobs. And so I think it's a combination of all those things. And, um, you know, turnovers on offense were, you know, we had a few too many there, and certainly uh, uh, some big plays. I think those are the things that, 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 you know, right now that we're focusing on. When you look at fundamentals and, and working the fundamentals properly, you got to think of this offensive line right now. It's such a cohesive unit, and how much in particular did it uh, make you happy to see that whenever a guy like a Max Copeland goes down and doesn't play against Indiana, next guy moves right in there, and that, that group continues to work well together? Yeah, well, that was really good. Uh, you know, uh, uh, Anthony went in and did a really good job, and I, I really think that it was you know, certainly important for us to, um, you know, to make sure that, that – uh, you know, we get that as much continuity as we can, but, you know, we're, we're also going to lose a player here and there, you know, hopefully be temporary. And when that happens, a guy like Anthony Guidi comes in and, and, and does a good job for us. And uh, um, Brad Magnolia, also our backup center, went in and got a little bit of work there too. So uh, it's, uh, it's good. Uh, you know, for the most part, we've been healthy, but that has a lot to do with why we're better right now than we were three weeks ago because you can't get better watching. You can't get better just putting a pullover on and limping through practice to get ready to the game. And so uh, that's kind of prerequisite for improving as a team. And talk about leadership. A guy like Andrew Wilson comes in second half. What did you think of the way he came in? It was just immediate spark for that defense in the third quarter when he got the chance to get in the game. Well, I, I thought he did a really good job there too. And I, you know, one thing we did too is we came out with a whole different front. And I think Coach Steck, it's uh, in the defensive staff. We, we we came out with an entirely defensive front in the second half. And then you know, obviously Andrew was excited about playing. You know, he's a great competitor. You know, it was really hurt him, you know, he hurt the team, and he certainly wasn't intentional on his part. But it was really neat to have him, you know, get out and compete and battle. And uh, first time we went through that, and hopefully the last, you know, with, uh, with that new rule that's out there in the NCAA. All right, so now 3-0, and uh, and when you look at that, Mark, how much confidence do you see this team continuing to grow with as they just seem to get better week in and week out? I think that's what happens. I think you know, there's, it's only one way you really get confidence, and that has success. You know, and you have success, then you know, then then, you, then that's really there's not there's not really too many other ways you can do it. Um, you can gain confidence by working hard and seeing yourself improve. But until you, as a unit, uh, a player, and as a unit, offense, defense, as a team, have success, you're not going to uh, feel it quite as much. So I think for the most part, you know, I, I think we've um, we're going in the right direction. You know, the, the, the rallying cry here is just to keep. Uh, you know, keep improving. This isn't a, about just about Arkansas State. You know, we, we got to play our best game against them. It's about us becoming a better football team. And whenever you think about the kind of crowd and atmosphere you want to see Saturday night at the zoo, uh, how do you hope that uh, these Mizzou fans will bring it here this week? Well, they do a great job. They always do. We're, 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 uh, we we, we got to give them something to yell about. That's our job. But we've turned that place into a great place to play. And um, it won't be 150 degrees. So that, I don't know what it'll be, but it's going to be 150 degrees. So uh, we'll get some good weather for them, hopefully. 
And an undefeated Tiger team this Saturday against Arkansas State coming off a victory in the only Big Ten versus SEC matchup uh, on the field you'll see this season. Coach, we appreciate your time and uh, good luck against Arkansas yeah, State. Thanks. That's that Coach Gary Pinkle. Tigers take on Arkansas State this Saturday at 630 for Field. We hope you'll be there.